Hey guys, Steve here. Uh, so I'm going to start a new um, series and it's going to be about um, learning how to program in Go uh, which is kind of a new hot uh, programming language that's out, that's out there. Um, it's something that I don't know much about. Um, so what I'm going to be doing here is um, doing some research on a couple of different topics uh, learning the programming la language and then kind of regurgitating what I've just learned into a video for to, to, to kind of help help you, you guys out. So if you like that format, you know, like the video, uh, subscribe subscribe to the channel, um, hit the notification button so you get updated as I release these um, the videos in this series. Um, but for the first episode, we're just going to go into actually setting up a program, a development environment to start um, writing Go apps. Um, so we're going to need two things. Uh, one, we're going to need the Go runtime. So we're going to download that and install it. And two, we're going to need an IDE, uh, Integrated Develop Development Environment. Um, we're going to use Visual Studio Code because it's free. It'll run on any platform and it has some nice uh, plugins to uh, start writing some Go apps. Um, so we start here, uh, we're on the uh, golang.org, which is the uh, Go programming language uh, web page. Um, and we're just going to go to documents and getting started. And this is where we have our download links. So um, there's, there's a number of ways of downloading this for different platforms. Um, but the way I like to set this up is using the, zip, the, um, the tarball. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I can use the, the tarball archive. Um, you can also you can use the zip archive if you're on Windows. So I'm going to go and um, go to the download page, and I'm going to download the the Mac OS tarball here. So that's downloading pretty fast. Okay, so. So that's downloaded. I go over to my terminal. Uh, I'm in my home directory here. And so let's go to downloads and we're going to um, extract the, the Go runtime. Okay, so we should have all of that in, in, a, in a directory called Go. Um, what I want to do is I want to make a directory and um, just so I can I can store that these development tools in it. So I'm gonna create a directory and it's gonna be from my home directory, it's gonna be a directory actually I need a minus P, so because I'm gonna create home directory uh, home development tools. Okay. So then I'm going to copy, or actually I'm not going to copy, I'm going to move the Go directory to Home Development Tools. Okay, so if I go into my Development Tools folder, I should have my Go directory. That's the directory that's where my Go runtime now currently is, so it's in um, uh, you, my Home directory, Development Tools, Go. So the next step here in installing then, using the tarball, is we need to set up a couple of environment variables, and there's two of them. Let me see if I can find them. There's these two. So you have the go root, and um, another one we need to set up is the go path. So the go root is where um, your go runtime is installed. So for me, it's the, the home directory, development tools, go. So I need to set that up. And then the go path is where, um, if I was to describe it in my terms, it's where um, the go runtime is going to download and, and save dependencies for your um, the applications that you're developing. So if you're importing different packages as dependencies to your app, it'll, it'll download those things from the web and store them in that, in that directory and make them available to your app. Kind of like if you're if you think about um, Apache Maven, you have your 
local Maven repository where it downloads your dependencies for your application and, and it stores them there locally. So I'm going to set up my Go route and my Go path. Um, so I need to do that in my, so if I vim my um, bash profile. So again, I'm working on a, on a Mac here, so I just need to set, add some exports to this um, file. So it, it um, exports some environment variables as I log in um, to my machine. So export go root equals, it should be users, Steve development tools, Jesus, go. So that should be my go root. And I'm going to export my Go path. So they basically re recommend that your Go path be directly in your home directory. So it's just going to be users db go. Um, I'm going to have to create that directory now in a second. Um, but one, one last thing we need to do to make the Go command available on our command line is add Go's bin directory to our path variable. So we need to export our path variable and make sure that we take whatever's in the current path so we don't wipe anything out that's currently in there. And we can say go root forward slash bin. And that puts the bin directory on our path. Um, so that should be it for installing the go runtime. If I just uh, quit out, out, out of this and make sure I write my changes, um, now if I try and run the go command, it probably won't work because that bash profile file hasn't run. So if, if I shut down my terminal and reopen it again, it, it would work, but I don't need to shut down my terminal. I can just run source and execute the bash profile. So, so that's basically, it's like I'm, log, I'm, I, I'm opening the ter terminal, it'll run the bash profile and, and set up the, those environment variables. If I run the go command now, dash dash version, I think, well, dash dash version is not available, but um, the go command is there now. I can see the help com coming back from it. So that's, that's go installed. Um, one last thing, obviously, I need to create that directory um, in my home directory. So let's just cd back to home. And I have can see that directory here. Okay. So that's my Go runtime setup. Um, next thing I'm going to install, I'm going to download the Visual Studio code. And it should start here. This might take a few minutes, so I may need to fast forward here. Okay, and we're back, and um, the Visual Studio code is downloaded. So it's here in a zip file. I'm gonna extract that zip file. And it's basically a, just a, an app here. I'm gonna drag it across the applications and drop it in here. So it should be available to start up. Um, just double click on it from here. Open. And that's Visual Studio Code installed. So next thing is we need to look at this marketplace. And if I search for Go, I should see a number of things here. So I'm looking for this, this top one. Um, so it has plenty of downloads, it's got a good rating. Um, it's the one I want, so I just click install. And that's installing, and it's installed now. Um, so if I go back to my files, um, so I'm going to do uh, 
create a folder so I'm going to cd into my go directory and I'm going to create a folder called projects so these are going to be my go projects and so use projects and create a directory for a simple hello world program and cd into that directory over here now I'm going to open up that directory that I created uh, so I go to go projects hello world open so now my Visual Studio code is inside that directory I can create a new file that is a file so I'll call it hello world go and we can see it's all it, it's now automatically recognized that it's a go um, file and it's asking me to install a couple of extra packages now I'm going to in, click install all so this these are some nice extra features that come along with uh, Visual Studio code that help you um, uh, obviously write your applications I'm going to fast forward here again because this could take a little bit a few minutes okay we're back again so all of those plugins installed correctly so that's nice I'll close down this so now basically what I want to do here is I just want to recreate um, the little program that was on the main page of the Go programming language website which is this which is just a simple hello world program just to make sure that my uh, development environment is now working so I'm going to write that here so the package main so all go programs start with a file that's in package main I believe and um, we'll probably get into that further in uh, other videos later in the series I'm going to so we import the package called fmt and then we have a function main and I believe Oh, right. Yeah. So, empty that, and you can see that um, the the Visual Studio code is is offering me the the code completion here, which is which is what I wanted. So all, all of those plugins we've installed for uh, Visual Studio code are working nicely, and you know giving us the help that we need to to write our programs. So I'll just type a message in here. and save that file and that should be it now I can I can do one of two things I can open up a terminal here in Visual Studio Code but I'm just going to do it from um, the command line here so I'm, I'm in my project directory I can see my hello world.go file and if I just do a go build that should and do an ls I now have an executable file hello world and if I just execute that it prints out the message hello world so that's it for this um, episode we've we've installed our go runtime we've installed our our IDE and got it set up for us uh, ready to start developing go applications um, in the next few series um, we're going to be looking at um, the there's a website here called uh, tor.golang.org um, which is basically by, by its name it's a tour of the Go pro programming language most of the stuff I'm going to be putting in these videos is uh, is from this um, so if I click on a tour of Go we can see the different all the basic stuff here so packages variables functions flow control statements for if else switch or to for for um, all these all these diff, different things so I'll be I'll be going through these myself learning how to use them learning how they work and then um, I'll create a, vid a video covering uh, some, some of these topics then um, later on so thanks for watching um, again if you like the video if you want to see more of these um, subscribe like the video click on the not notification button so you get notified when I upload another video uh, that's it for now. Thanks, guys.